Hello everyone, welcome to Ton Time. Today we will be unboxing and taking a look at the Jan Kane HDMI USB KVM switch. So everyone nowadays have a desktop and a laptop. You know, you're at home, you're working on your desktop computer, you're at work, you bring your laptop or you travel with your laptop. So um, to reduce clutter, people usually get these uh, two-in-one KVM switch, basically you could hook two computers up to this switch and use one keyboard monitor and mouse so it's a great solution to minimizing cables although using one of these you can't get away from it there will be a lot of cables going in and out of it but you'll eliminate the use of having more hardware on your desk so yeah so this is a kvm switch we'll be taking a look at it you could get it on uh, amazon as you can see here this is the one i got uh, for my parents and I will be hooking up their laptop and their desktop computer to one keyboard and mouse so the unit looks pretty cool we're gonna unbox it and see how it works and see how many ports it has and yeah so let's go ahead and do that right now so this is the um, retail boxing as you can see so the brands Jan Kane um, I have a couple of uh, KVM switches and I always like to buy different ones just to try them out, review them, unbox them so you guys uh, could see. So this is uh, Jan Kane and this is here it says to computer, share one monitor, keyboard, mouse, USB devices, pretty much any USB device that plugs into USB-A. So pretty nice packaging, works with Windows, Linux, Mac OS, green there, it does 4K Ultra HD and a single button and all that good stuff. So this is the retail packaging. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what is inside. I believe it comes with all the cables that you need. And uh, reading on the website, they pretty much tell you that um, they recommend using their USB cables that comes in a box here. So be sure to do that. But I think any USB cable will work. And they have, uh, when you open it, it says, if they hope you're satisfied, they have a Facebook, Twitter, Google+. So upon opening, you got the little device. It's really small, fits inside the palm of your hand. Let's see what else is in here. And I believe these are all the cables you need to get this all working. So we'll take a look at that. You have a little thank you card and their social media and contact information. So if you have any problems, you can always contact them, which is a good sign. You get free three-year warranty if you activate within seven days. So be sure you do that. And then you got your user manual here, which um, is pretty much uh, self-explanatory here. You just plug in your input devices and your output devices and it comes in multiple languages as well so the diagram here shows um this is pretty much the diagram here on how you should hook up your two computers and your outputs and inputs devices so that's everything in the box here. I'm going to get rid of this guy, get a little bit more working space here. Let's open the main unit and then we'll check out the accessories that come with it. So very light plastic, full plastic case. <clears throat> you got one button up here to switch between the two. You got your PC inputs here. So you need a USB uh, PC input and then your uh, HDMI, HDMI uh, input there. And then this is your second computer. So you need to hook up your USB uh, cable to computer one and HDMI in, and your second PC, HDMI in and PC two. And then basically it's gonna share these two USB devices and the monitor when you switch between the two with the top button. So really easy interface very light and if looking at the size uh, it's roughly four inches wide and a little bit over two inches in um, yeah, four inches width 
and then a little bit over two inches in um, in the uh, height. So yeah, um, it says it looks like it's quality controlled pass here, and that's everything here for that guy. So let's see what cables it comes with. Okay, so you get two a USB A to A cable. And these are probably your HDMI. So they give you two HDMI cables here. Here's one. And here's two. So that's everything that you see here. Two HDMI cables, two USB A to USB A cables, and everything will be plugged out here. And then um, you'll need your own HDMI cable to go out to your monitor. And obviously, you're going to plug in your USB devices here. And I believe you could even plug a wireless uh, USB A. If you have a wireless keyboard, it should work. So that's everything on an unboxing here. Um, fairly simple looking device. I'm going to plug it up between my two laptops and let, I'll show you guys uh, how this works and let's see how quickly it could switch between uh, peripherals. Okay, so I have to go mobile here and handhold my iPhone. I'm sorry if it's a little shaky, but I just want to show you guys the details of this box here. So this is everything hooked up on here. As you can see, it's a lot of wires. You got, I got my mouse right there, my HDMI out to my monitor, that's my mouse, and that's my keyboard. So that's my outputs here. So in the back here, uh, where it says green, that's one computer, and blue is the other. So that's how you could recognize between the two, uh, blue and green. So when you switch to green, it's PC number one or two, whatever you want to number it. And when you switch to blue, it's the other PC. So you got to make sure to get your USB and your HDMI hooked up so that your computer works properly on this KVM switch. And I'm using two laptops to test. So this is laptop. Uh, this is laptop number one, uh, which says Microsoft Edge on there. And this is laptop number two, which says Chrome on the screen so that when we switch things over, you can see which laptop is which. So yeah, so obviously it doesn't have to be a laptop. It could be a computer or a Mac, but... Um, I have a triple screen set up here, but I'm using my middle monitor here as the test monitor. So this is a 4K monitor. Um, this this unit can do 4K, and I got my gaming keyboard and mouse. And the cool thing about this is my gaming keyboard and mouse has RGB, and this unit is actually able to supply enough power to power the RGB on my keyboard and mouse. Um, some units require another uh, power source to get more power on the USB so that's good that this doesn't require that and my RGB works fine. So as you can see, I'm hitting the Windows key and it's on my Chrome lap, the laptop with the Chrome uh, browser on and it works great as you can see there. So that's output right now to the switch blue light for the Chrome monitor and my keyboard and mouse and it works fine. So all three devices are output so let's change it to green which is the edge laptop and when the switch over it's really fast as you can see and there you go microsoft edge and hitting the windows and it works fine works perfectly mouse and keyboard works the switching is really really fast so barely any delay and that's coming off from this dell laptop that i'm testing on so very cool unit you could hook up two laptops to one monitor, one keyboard, and one mouse when you're docked at home. And I know it does look like it's a lot, but yeah, just make sure that you have all the cables plugged in. It's required. It needs to read the USB signal from your computer and the output signal from your laptop to get the video out to your monitor. So yeah. 
So really easy to install. Just make sure you plug everything uh, properly there. And yeah, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be a, a laptop. It could be any computer with HDMI and USB uh, outputs to go into that unit there. So yeah, it looks a little messy. You could clean that up, hide it behind your desk. Uh, for me, I'm just showing you guys what it would look like with all the devices plugged in. And that is pretty much um, the whole setup there. Give you guys a little bit better view of it. And yeah, it beats running another uh, mouse and keyboard. So this unit is really awesome, um, really easy to use, all plug and play, no drivers. Uh, it does 4K, 60 hertz. It could also do 1080, 720. It could down step resolution, but 4K, 60 is the max. And um, yeah, and everything works great on this setup. It just took me a few minutes to set up and everything was pretty much good to go. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm sorry if the last part of the video is a little shaky. Um, I couldn't figure out a way to uh, record <laughs> this while um, um, on a tripod because I need to move around since my setup here is a little bit small. I'm just a small time YouTuber. But yeah, if you like the video, please hit that like, subscribe button. It helps out the channel. And I'll put the link to the product below. And I will see you guys in the next video.